So the so-called far-right have surged in France. Le Pen's Nationalist Party has won the first round of the French election. So we got some statistics here, some remarkable statistics that really put into scale of the crime rates. And this perhaps explains the surge to the so-called far-right. Uh, foreigners make up 8% of the population, but account for 24% of prison inmates. 77% of solved rapes in Paris. 54% of street crimes and 40% of vehicle thefts in Nice, 38% of burglaries and 31% of muggings across, across the whole of France. So, as we're seeing very, very disproportionate crime rates, uh, levels of crime, violent crime, theft, all of these different things, uh, rapes, some horrific crimes. So perhaps that really does explain everything. Perhaps the French people are not voting for the party that wants deportations because they're racist. Perhaps they've just lived their day-to-day -day life and have managed to see, hold on, these people are committing vast amounts of crime at levels far more than we are, despite us making up the majority of the population. Think about that. They make up 8% of the total population, maybe like 30% in Paris, but make up 80% of total rapes and that's just a solved one so you know there could be even more that could be up to 85 percent it's ridiculous think about that imagine they released the statistics in britain i mean they should right it's crime statistics i think as a people part of part of solving crime is being able to look at the the causes of crime who is doing the crime we need more statistics to figure out how to tackle it so if we could just you know, if, if our government would just, for one second, do a bit of research, find out the statistics, they could go and realise, oh wait, these people are committing crimes at three times at the rate of their actual percent of their population. Oh, they're only 10% of the population, but commit 40% of violent crime. If we could just get that one bit of research done and showed out to the British public, perhaps we could then look at a real solution because the real solutions well the fake solutions that they give us is always something that invades our privacy or takes away our freedoms for example cctv all the time or oh we'll get the digital id to see who's in the country no no how about we just figure out who's doing the crime at vast a uh, vast majority compared to their actual percentage of the population they make up and then get rid of them get rid of the criminals can't get rid of the white criminals, the white, well, we can't get rid of the British criminals, because we don't have Australia, we can't just send them to, an, uh, to a random place, but we, these people, when they commit crime, we can just send them home, it's not actually that hard, if they're committing crime, it shouldn't be that hard to go and figure out, where are they from, away, but they won't do that, because they don't care about the real solution, the only solution they want is the one that actually tramples over our freedoms, and helps them stalk us in our whereabouts at all times, and implement digital id to figure out who's doing the crime who's not blah, blah. and you know it's funny statistics are unbiased facts are not left wing facts are not well they usually are facts usually are in favor of the right wing but facts alone are no sort of political wing so why don't they just release these statistics what's holding them back because we know we know that just like france ours is very similar maybe not as bad but pretty much just as bad so why aren't they releasing them and if they did release them, do you think the unbiased BBC would report on it? Or state-funded media? Because they should report on it, right? They're unbiased. They're just here to share the facts. Do you think they'd share those facts? Why not? Why wouldn't they share those facts? Are they afraid that we'll realise that multiculturalism isn't actually working? Are they realising, oh, we won't vote for Labour or Conservatives anymore because we re will realise that immigration is genuinely a crisis. They're hiding it. It's like a hidden crisis. But at the same time, it shouldn't be that hard to see. It's not really a hidden crisis, because you can just go outside. You can just live your normal human experience and go, hold on, these people are committing disproportionate amounts of crime. You can sit there and think, okay, if we let in 600, 700,000 of them every single year, how are we building that many houses? How is the NHS coping with that? It's actually not that hard to see it is a crisis without the facts. But how about we get the facts anyway? Just so that then the media or whoever, is going to report on it and tell the public, hey, this is what happened. Why isn't our government recording these statistics? That's what, that's what they're supposed to do. That's how you tackle crime. So, it's about time we do this. Where, where's the statistics for Britain? Because we need them. We're waiting for them. Just so we can truly prove to the lefties, the wokies, this is, this is actually happening. 
Of course, it's easy, it's easy for them to say it's not when they're living in their privileged, middle-class houses where they don't have to see any of these things. It's very, very, very much like the elite. The elite come and trample all over our freedoms, do this and do that, and then they'll go live in Switzerland where they have their direct democracy, where they are free of mass immigration, and they can just sort of destroy the West. And, you know, because if they really loved what was happening, then surely they would just live here, but they don't. Yeah, it's about time we actually release these statistics here. And by the way, I want to tell I want to say something else. With these statistics, okay, eight percent of of France are made up of foreigners. Foreigners make up eight percent of France, but twenty four percent of prison inmates. Eighty percent. Remember all these statistics, okay? This is all foreigners. This is not legal. This is not illegal. This is not. First, second, third generation, this is all foreigners combined. I guarantee if we looked at the ones that have came as a result of mass immigration, no, no, no. Not the, not the ones that came to France 40, 50 years ago when they were going to work in their health system and actually provide to the country because these people are being counted as that percentage. If we just counted the people that have came in to France as first generation immigrants in the last 20 years, I bet it's maybe 3%, but... 20% of the crime. It'll be even more disproportionate. So then you'll see really, truly the scale of what recent mass immigration is doing because it's much more damaging than immigration as a whole from the past. So then you'll see the true scale of how bad it really is and how we need to put a stop to it now. And not just put a stop to it. Closing the borders is the first step. That is just the national security part of it. Close the borders. Don't let more people enter. But then you have to reverse the government policy that has allowed millions of people to come in the last 10 years, then you have to do the deportation policy. And that's a whole different battle. That's a whole different obstacle to get around. So truly, the statistics is the first part to sway the public opinion and get people realising. Because look, the French have it. The French have the statistics. And what happens when you give them the statistics? They all go and vote for the nationalist party. So perhaps we would all vote for our nationalist party if we could release the statistics here. But that's exactly why they won't release the statistics. Because they're afraid. They're afraid of nationalist parties getting in. They want to maintain the uniparty, but they're seeing that kind of fall now. They're seeing that collapse. They're seeing reform take over in Nigel Farage, taking over the Tories. The Tories might be out. They could be finished. They could be very, very well finished. So perhaps this is the start of change, and perhaps reform will demand these statistics to be put forward and then when these statistics are put forward and finally researched upon then the british public will sway even more to the right and vote for reform even more and perhaps 2029 they could be elected and it would truly be the end of the globalist dream and they would be finished